not my fault Don't walk away Cause I don't quite know what you're running from Cause all my friends they think I'm fun You take yourself too seriously Hello, welcome to day uno of sketchbook maintenance. I've got a deadline coming up and I have been slightly lacking on sticking these annotations into my book. So I have 60 A3 sheets. And this is all basically because I wasn't able to access a good printer for the whole of lockdown. So this is the whole backlog the backlog. I gotta get started because this sketchbook isn't going to do itself. That wasn't a euphemism, I apologise. At this point I was on my third rewatch of Miranda on BBC iPlayer, so everything had suddenly turned into a euphemism. For this sketchbook I've been writing it all on my computer, so all of the juicy cognitive work was done, which just left me to mount up and transform everything from this digital world onto the physical paper, because I don't want to be looking at no screen when I'm trying to flip through my sketchbook. This is something I've been doing a lot recently because it makes such a nice little flap between the pages and it also means that the flakes of this monoprint and the texture doesn't go onto my nice neat printed page. Comes up. I did go a bit heavy handed on the spray mount here which may or may not have led to disastrous consequences later on in the video. I do know that aerosols are evil but it just makes mounting things in this sketchbook so easy. Putting convenience over sustainability, we love to see it. In all fairness, spray mounting in the pages was actually the best way I found to glue them in because if I used a glue stick then it would all wrinkle and trust me, that's a no-no. <laughs> I mainly wrote these annotations once I'd finished a chunk of my art coursework, so I had a clear idea of what the story and the references were in my mind, and I could easily put this down without it turning into the dreaded stream of consciousness. Because you really want to avoid bamboozling the examiner with too many words. Our A-level courses here in the UK do depend a lot on getting inside your brain and showing your creative process and what worked for you and what didn't. So even if I've made the most resilient, brilliant, flubby, gubby, scrumptious <laughs> piece of work, then if I didn't explain what actually led me to making it, then I wouldn't do well when it eventually got marked. Now that every available surface, including the soles of my feet and probably the inside of my lungs, are coated with this gluey, glueness. I mean, just look at my thumb, it's just gone white. It's like I'm in Frozen. I'm gonna take a break now because I've got a pretty severe headache and I don't think inhaling any more of whatever is in this is gonna do me any good. Also, disclaimer before you panic about the amount of work I have here, I went very over the top with the amount I wrote. I think I have 13,000 words in this sketchbook so far which you do not need to do at all. I just really like making things hard for myself. For day two of sketchbook chaos, so that the inside of my workspace didn't end up smelling like a fume cabinet, <laughs> I decided to work outside, which in hindsight, I really should have done from the start. I coated the table in a big old sheet that I use for painting to avoid absolutely decimating it with the amount of spray mount I was going to use. And being outside was noticeably better for my lungs, but <laughs> from the amount that I inhaled before, I think there's a pretty high chance of me producing some extremely strange looking sperm <laughs> a couple of years down the line. This day was spent filling in the gaps in my sketchbook where I'd meant to stick in a drawing or a photo but just hadn't got round to it because the days were getting shorter and my body was just ready to shut down and hibernate. 
As soon as it starts getting dark around five, then my seasonal affective disorder just switches on <laughs> and I become a complete sloth. When I'm making art for the A-level, I always make sure to document, document, document. Did I say that enough? I'm gonna say it once more. Document <laughs> my work. Just using my phone camera so I have a record of what actually happened and the steps I took. This is a good way for me to beef up my sketchbook, along with including all of my tiny little sketches and prototypes. And even if something failed completely, I made sure to include it and also state what I learned from it. Whether it was to be more moderate with my hot glue usage or to always use a ruler with a craft knife lest I sever my finger off or that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, <laughs> I put it down on the page in big, bold letters so the examiner couldn't miss it. The hand ins tomorrow, and today at school, I printed out some more images to stick in places where I was missing them. And then I was also going to fix this sculpture that came apart in the heat because it was hot glued onto like a backing board, and then the hot glue came loose and it went smashing to the floor from my shelf. I did eventually end up doing it later after it had sat on my desk for upwards of about two months. I really wanted to include it for my portfolio for art school, which I still haven't heard back from, but I will keep you guys posted. <laughs> but the really annoying thing about A3 sketchbooks is their size slightly under A3, which means that every sheet you want to stick in, you have to manually trim the border by just a few millimeters. I know it's such a niche problem, but it would make my life so much easier if I could just stick in the pages into the sketchbook as they are out of the printer. So, would I recommend putting your sketchbook together like I did? No. But would I change it if I went back? No again. It's like creating your own engine when you're making a game instead of just using Unity or Unreal. Or like pretending you're Victorian and writing with an owl feather instead of a pen. Sure, there's more efficient ways to do it, but I personally enjoy doing it in my long-winded, difficult way, which made it even more satisfying when it was all finished, stuck in and ready for that hand in. And did I mention I got an A star predicted grade for the end of this bit of the course? Did I? Turns out all of this hard work was worth it. <laughs> Epic win. I'll see you guys in the next one.